Hey YouTube fam, um, I'm kind of glad to be back. I know I'm trying to get a video up at least once a week, you guys. It's just been kind of crazy, you know, it's the holiday season. Um, I've already done my eyebrows. Um, I have picked up some great products here and there. I'm going to try to incorporate a few of them into this video today. Um, so, it'll probably just be eyes and introduction of anything that um, I've been playing with that's been kind of nice to have. Um, yeah, you know, you get great gift cards and stuff around this time. So, yes, I've had a ball with um, all of those lovely gift cards and birthday gifts and everything. So, we're going to get started. I don't really know what direction I'm going to go in. Um, I kind of want to do a color based off of, I kind of want to wear this lipstick today. So it probably be something kind of light and neutral just so I can make this pop. This is the new L'Oreal Infallible Paints and it's like a shiny lipstick lip gloss. Does that make sense? We'll, we'll we'll see it on camera together because okay. I'm going to do a complimentary palette. Um, I was able to get my hands on the Urban Decay. Um, after dark palette and it looks like that is so pretty um this is what i call a complimentary compliment palette the shades in here okay excuse the mirror the shades in here are all like shimmery or metallic um so i'm just going to use a couple of them to get the look pulled together and uh, i'm going to just use my urban decay uh, Gwen Stefani palette. You guys know how much I love that one. And I'm just going to start off with the color um, Danger. Just going to take it over the top half of my eye. Put that, get a really good base going. Okay. And it is, I am letting it go a little bit down into the crease. So. That's it for that. The next Danger. color I'm going to pick up is Zone. On a fluffier brush. And I'm going to take that right into the crease. And I'm probably going to keep this eye a little neutral. And I'm going to do a pop of color on the bottom for the eyeshadow part, I think. Just to tie it into the lipstick. We'll see, okay? I'm going to deepen the crease a little bit with Punk. Well, yeah, I'm just blend it up. That's a little heavier. <laughs> Okay, that was, that was a mistake. I didn't mean to do that, but you know, I can fix it. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend out this edge of it with the brush we used earlier to lay down our first color. Cause that's not really what I was trying to do, but hey, mistakes happen. I'm gonna finish blending this out and try to get the other eye right. Due to my little mistake, I'm having to pick up this little Real Techniques uh, base shadow br brush. And it's got a little point on it, so I'm actually just taking it right here into the crease. Um, where I kind of made the little mistake. And I'm going to blend out everything else above that with the color zone. I'm going to go back in with that and try to blend everything out at the top. Where I kind of, kind of like halfway messed up. Shoo. I'm going to have to clean out this brush. Be right back. I'm going to pick up this color lounge, which looks like a greenish blue or another. I'm going to pick that up and just put that right here in the center so I can see if I want to surround it. And uh, or do I just want to take it over the whole lid? I mean with my brush a little bit and see if I want to take it over the whole lid or not. Keep it right here. For right now. Mm, I'm going to 
play with it, I'll be right back. Okay, so I did keep the color, um, the greenish blue all the way across. And then I went in and added uh, a dab of black just right here and blended it over into the um, blue green. And for my highlight, in my, I'm going to use the blonde color out of the um, Gwen Stefani one. So... I'm going to take a little bit of Alter for the inner corner and I'm going to blend it a little bit into that um, greenish blue shade. I'm going to bring it down. Uh oh, you guys can't see me. I'm sorry. I'm going to bring it down like that and fill it in. Sweep it up just a little bit. I am adding a little bit of the Too Faced uh, sketch marker. You're so Too Faced. I guess this is in black or, yeah, black, I'm sure. Um, this is hard to do on camera, so, yeah, I'm just going to kind of get it started. And you guys see it's very thin because I am probably going to put on eyelashes. I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick why not and get that all blended out and uh, I'll be right back I'm going in with the Kat Von D in D33 warm this is her locket concealer I wanted something a little some more full coverage underneath here today. Um, I may add a little bit of white in to kind of give me more of a highlight up underneath there, but we will see Ooh, me. after I get it all blended in and set, okay? Okay, I am trying out the Tartius Volume 2 Contour Palette. These are supposed to be darker shades. I think they were trying to make uh, something a little more chocolate girl friendly. Chocolate girl friendly. Um, because I'm, um, because the other contour palettes from Tarte are not chocolate girl friendly. And they did not put the Shayla one that they did um, in the store. But this was I actually picked this up earlier. The packaging is beautiful as always. And as you can see, the contour shades are a little bit darker. Um, I'm actually using this one on my face to day so i'm still trying to see how i feel about it mm -hmm. when we get the look together i'll be back and i am using the bronze color out of here number four i think this is what this is for it i'm not going to use the lighter one actually i am going to use a little bit of the lighter one and go on top of uh where i kind of you know go with that a little bit okay i may try to use this blush color out of here it is a no i'm not it's too light for me i think um yeah we'll i haven't back. used this palette much on camera but um this is the becca becca blush with light blush trio flat palette um i'm actually gonna go in with this shade Kyle. lord have mercy can't even see uh wisteria i think i'm just because i'm going to see what it looks like um let's just pick up this morphe m551 brush yeah it's a little i just want to see i just want to look color to my cheeks not much and i think that just gave me what i wanted kind of pigmented i didn't really think the shade it's this shade right here i didn't really think it was gonna pick up but it did I right, am blending it back a little bit and um, yeah. Okay, YouTube, this is the final look. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I had a lot of fun with this uh, lipstick. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Paints. <laughs> um, yeah, we just gonna roll with it, girl. Who cares? I put a little bit of um, underneath here um i did go in with uh, a little bit of the after dark color fringe which let's see just to kind of you know tie it in with the lipstick and i'm just picking up a little bit more of the color 
just to give it uh, you know, a little something something uh, I just need to I'm bring it out I had a little bit of black up underneath I just saw it so yeah that's all I think I did um I did put down the peach uh, blush as a high, more like a highlighter bronzer today um, and I think that's it. I, I'm not going to put on um, eyelashes, I don't think, um, because I kind of worked on the, I, my own eyelashes with uh, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which is a really, really good mascara. Um, I think, oh, I think that's it as far as, I, I'm going to let you guys know how I feel about the Sasha Buttercup. I'm still testing it. Um, so far, I think it's okay. I don't know what I was expecting just because of the, you know, YouTube were reviews about it um i don't know i'm still trying to see but yeah i think i like everything um i did add some glow a little more glow <laughs> from the estee edit if you guys did not get your hands on that grit and grit and glowing gritty kit palettes um i say you missed out because this palette was actually end up being so beautiful and yes, I'm gonna, I'm always extra, y'all know that. So I couldn't really see it on camera, but now I see it. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, uh, um, thanks YouTube. If you guys have any questions about anything that's on my face, I'm still gonna let you guys know how I feel about the Tardius uh, Contour Palette Volume 3. Um, I'm testing it out. Um, I don't know if it's better or worse than what I really like to use is my um, NARS for my contour powder, but we will see, you know, I don't know if I'm going to go look at it a little bit more and take some pictures and see, you know, how it wears and everything. Um, and I'll let you all know what I feel about that. Um, just cause it's, you know, new and it's supposed to be for a little more, more women of color friendly. <laughs> Let's just say that. Um, and I think that's it, you guys. I will see you all on the next turn. Enjoy your day, YouTube. Bye-bye.